everyone and welcome to the 71st annual Costa Mesa, Newport Harbor, Lions Club, Fish Fry, Carnival, and Car Show here at Fairview Park. That's right everyone, it's that time of the year where the Fish Fry is back to entertain and feed all of Costa Mesa. And all of it is to benefit local organizations throughout the city. So right behind me is a full weekend of free entertainment for the community. There's booths and of course the famous fish and chips dinner. I'm gonna be walking around checking out some of the fun all weekend long and of course interview some of the people from the Lions Club. So come with me and let's take a look. Thank you so much for taking a break from this busy fish fry weekend. I need this break. And I this this event is, is always fun to be at. It's a Costa Mesa tradition. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, it's the 71st, which means we've had 70 other ones that have gone pretty successful, so we're hoping for 71. We had a little change in date this year, but you might say this is a celebration of the end of summer. We just changed sides. From what I understand, there's entertainment and there's booths and there's just so much going on. Tell us a little bit about the details. This year we've got 12 great bands. They've got a super good stage to work off of and they're putting a lot of energy out. We've got a lot of food people, so we've got five or six different things you can uh, buy if you're not a fish eater. Then we've got the communities are out here. We've got the city's got a booth, water district's got a booth. So anything you want to know about what's going on, they got a booth and they've all got stuff they're giving away too. So there's some swag for you. Now here's something, we've got a silent auction this year. We've got, God, I think maybe ten, twelve thousand dollars worth of stuff that they're practically giving away. We've moved our car show from Saturday night to Sunday, but after that show, we're going to have a ribbiting contest on the car show stage, and that's going to be fire against police, and it should be pretty entertaining to see who eats the most. That's going to be exciting. Or is there anyone you're rooting for for the rib eating? Content. No, I just hope I don't have to clean up. <laughs> I'm rooting for somebody to clean it up when they're done. That's all. <laughs> and so tell us, you know, with the silent auction and, and the the dinners, where is all of the all of the money going to all this? I understand there's a lot of organizations that mm. this is going to benefit, right? You got it. And what's cool about it is about 95% of all that money stays right in Costa Mesa. We have maybe 10 or 12 charities we give it to. Soy being one of them, that's a big one. Boys and Girls Club's a big one. We've got Knox of Love. So we have Project Cuddle, Project Independence. And I could keep going on. We could spend a half a day going over different charities. We have a lot of young people out here. They're the kids that we try to get. We can give them some money too. And in turn, they're helping us. Help us help you. We've got some super good sponsors this year. Those people that give us the door prizes, they've really kicked that up this year. It's quite amazing to have an event like this for so long. What do you think uh, makes it so successful, what, so popular throughout the community? Well, it's one, it's the only event Costa Mesa has, okay, that, that really is an outdoor event and actually draws a few thousand people. This has been going on so long and people are always saying, I remember this and I remember that. So I think it's just been around so long that people just enjoy coming, you know? And I bet you 95% of the people here are Costa Mesa residents. Or you know? they'll say, I was in the baby contest. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Or I was on a float when they had the parade. So, okay, I've been to these a couple of times and, you know, I love eating the fish, mm -hmm. the, the fish dinner, fish and chips. What's the recipe? Yeah, Tell totally. me. Well, Do you know it? Come on, get it out of the bomb for us. You. We'd have to have a big bomb go off. No, 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 no. no. They, they ain't going nowhere. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll put it this way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you one hint, one okay. hint, and only one hint. A guy named Tom makes it. You figure it out. Okay. Every time you ask that you meet, ask him. Hey, you making the recipe? That's what all I can right. tell you. I'll tell you, it's a Tom. Beyond that, that's I swear to secrecy. Okay, okay, all right. Well, thank you so much, Phil. I'll You're let welcome. you get back to work. All right. Thank you so much for all your work for everything. Okay. All right, so I've been walking around a little bit at the fish fry, and now we're going to walk into the kitchen where all the food is made, where the yummy fish and chips are cooked. It's pretty busy back here. It's hot, actually. Sorry to bug you. I know you're busy here cooking, but tell us what's, what you're doing out here. Well, we're here carrot cooking as far as raising funds for uh, Lions Club, so I do whatever is necessary. So right now I, I have to cook, right? So it's no matter what it is, right? So I'm just, I'm the floater. 
So okay, so let's guide me through the process. So first you, so the fish is in the in here. Uh huh. So and actually, it's in the batter. It's in the batter. We batter it before the event, and then we actually store it and ready for you know cooking. So uh, we do approximately about 1,350 pounds of fish, and uh, we uh, cook it right. It's, uh, and we go through the process, let it sit in there for about you know five minutes, um, and then uh, until it's golden brown, and then we turn around and serve it, and you know and go from there. Well, it's pretty hot. This is like a it is. It's this is like an, a nice facial right here, right? Yeah, so yeah, so yeah, so you get pretty warm, right? So you get the breeze coming through here, and then also you know you get the warm from the fryer. But yeah, as far as uh, it, it has a little bit of splatter, so you gotta be careful. So is it almost ready? Uh, it is almost ready. I just gotta put them out. Okay. They'll float up, so you'll see them float up. I just gotta get them loose from the bottom. Sometimes they kind of stick, and then they'll start coming back up. Do you know what's in the recipe in that special batter? Um, I do, but it's a secret. Okay, so I interviewed Phil not too long ago, and he told me to look for some guy named Tom. I think he was just joking with me because he told me that Tom had the recipe, but I think he was just, I think he was just teasing he was me. Teasing you? Uh, I, he's not here, and uh, he, I don't think he's going to divulge it. So we're gonna move down the line. You have the fish. We have the fish. Right now you're just letting it cool off, letting the exactly grease kind of... The oil will drop down off the fish, and then we'll put it over in the uh, server trays here. And so tell me, what do you enjoy the most about being here and cooking for all these people? The cooking is all sorts of fun, but really the enjoyment is uh, working with the community. Really what we're doing is a fundraiser. Every dollar we earn goes back into the community. When it comes right down to it, we do this. It's a lot of camaraderie, a lot of fun to do. But it's really the community side of it that's most, really the most enjoyable. Okay, so we're gonna be moving down the line. Hot fish! All right, Kirk, well, it's nice to see you again. So you're here again serving up the fish. Absolutely, every year. How many pieces do people usually get? Um, well, it, it, if, the, if the size is the same, we'll give them three, but sometimes the size varies. So when it varies, sometimes we'll give them two big ones and three smaller ones, or maybe even four smaller ones. So uh, it just depends on the size of the fish, really. And they get some some side uh, fries. Yeah, they get fries and they get coleslaw. Yep. All right. Full meal. Full meal. So have you ever been tempted to just kind of take a little bite? Me? Oh no, no, never. I I never eat the fish. No. <laughs> Are you more of a brisket or you know? Uh, no, I eat a lot of this. No, I. <laughs> You don't get a body like this eating salads. I eat, <laughs> I eat brisket and fish, pretty much whatever they put in front of me. But yeah, I'll have my share of fish by the end of the weekend. All right. Well, thank you so much. Um, I'll leave you. Thank you. you and want a piece? Okay. <laughs> I was gonna wait, but I'll do it now. There you go. Ooh, nice and hot. Absolutely. Ooh. Mm. Good fish. Mm. Good fish. Nice and crispy. Tell me a little bit about your role. Actually, every year I just serve here, yeah. you know. So I got my fish, and I think I need a side, or I need like a dipping sauce or something. Oh, yeah. She has the tartar sauce right All there, right. and That's she has whatever you need. All right. Cool. Okay. All right. Thank you, Arlene. I heard this is where you can get all the, the different dipping sauces and... I suggest the, the malt vinegar. I, I, classic vinegar. It's, it's, it's a good... It's very good. It's very English. <laughs> I'll go. I'll go for the vinegar this time. Um, all right. So that was the tour of the kitchen. As you could see, everyone was pretty busy in there. So I'm gonna keep walking. I'll munch on my on my fish and let's go. Sorry to bother you while you're eating. That's okay. <laughs> Tell us, how are you guys enjoying your fish and chips dinner? It's absolutely delicious, yes. Yes, and is this your first time here at the fish fry? Uh, no, my wife and I actually come almost every year, but we've missed a couple years, so we're back again. Right. And what do you like about it so much? What, what makes uh, you want to keep coming back? It's a good cause. It's a great place to bring kids. The rides are fun. It's just a good time for everybody. Well, I'll let you guys finish eating. I don't want it to get cold. I want you to enjoy it. But thank you so much thank and have you. a great time. All right. Have a good one. Be one. 
So Cindy, this is a little uh, outside of the fish fry. It's really, it's kind of peaceful here. Yes, it is very nice. I, they love coming out and, and playing in the, oh, the fresh air and being able to listen to live oh, music and zero. eat good fish. So it's, you know, the fish fry invited us to come last year. This is our second year here and we're doing really good. It's really fun. All of our money proceeds go to the children at Costa Mesa High School, the sports like cheer, football, and then we have a lot of things like our solar cup where I, they um, make uh, solar boats and so I it goes two, back into the programs two. that the children, that involves all the children. Are you guys uh, giving out any six. prizes? Yes, today we're paying out $50. The more players we have, the higher the payouts are. We try and give back to the people that are helping to support our children. So tell me, we've been playing bingo for a little bit. We got a little distracted. But I hopefully I we're still gonna bingo. <laughs> I don't think so either. B one one. Oh, we oh. Have a, oh, we just see how to bingo. Awesome. Oh, that's a good bingo. Uh -huh. Yeah, and it was yeah. yeah. I don't know. We close, close this, this game, game with, with one, one lucky winner. winner. <laughs> I need two fish dinners. I got a, fan, a pretty hungry crew right here. Two tickets. Oh, thank you. Hi, we're ready for our fish lunch. Hi. All right, is it your turn? Yes, we have two. I can't wait to dig in. We've been waiting all morning. Oh, the fish is really good. It's very <laughs> fresh. Let's go. <laughs> So I had to stop by this car, which is very interesting. I heard that there's a unique story behind it, especially the lion. So tell us about this car. It's a 1965 Mustang. It's an original California car. A couple of people have asked me, you know, what's the big lion on the hood of your car? Uh, that's actually in honor of my father. Um, I'm a transplant from New Jersey, and my father back in 1975 sure. was the president of the Lions Club. The year he was the president, my mom had actually made that in a ceramics class for him. And I figured this would be a great way to bring it out with the Lions, a Lions Club event honoring my mom and dad. And there's so many cars. I was surprised when I walked in and saw so many rows. 141 cars turn out. I think this is Cindy's biggest show she's had here so far. And uh, what do you like about it so much about this fish fry in Costa Mesa? It's a family event, you know, I mean all of these car people around here, you yeah, know, we're one big family. But just the camaraderie with all of these people, I mean I almost see these people more than I see my family. <laughs> well, what we're going to do is we're going to run the clock for five minutes and you're going to eat as many ribs as you can. Three, two, one, eat. Suck it down. And I've seen all of you guys eat before, so now is not the time to be shy. Let's hear it for fire! Let's hear it for the poison blue! So I'm here with the winner of the rib eating contest, Jack. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Oh my gosh. Did you expect to win today? Honestly, I did not. I uh, just kind of got out there and did my best. Was that the longest five minutes ever or how did, was it a breeze? It was long and short. When they, they're counting down the minutes, you're just like, wow, it's, you know, time seems so short, but when you're eating all those ribs, it's just forever. It seems like it was forever. So. Twisted Brisket was the sponsor. They've been out here all weekend supporting the fish fry. Tell me how amazing those ribs were and how cool it is for them to come out here for the community and support firefighters and police. It was absolutely incredible. We always um, appreciate all the support that the community shows us and we're happy to be out here. And I really did not expect the ribs to be as incredible as they were. It fell right off the bone. Congratulations and 
Uh, I hope you <laughs> rest up and maybe, yeah. who knows, you might be ready for a fish dinner, right? Yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Oh my god, how crazy was that ride? It was pretty it was fun. Pretty fun. Yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh, I am so dizzy. I'm like, I'm done. I'm No more rides for me. How about you guys? We have almost done all of the rides, almost except twice. for one. So tell me, do you guys like coming out here? Is this your first time at the fish fry or uh, not? I've been here since I was like three or four. We're just supporting Estancia. Well, it looks like you guys won some prizes too. You guys yeah. playing games? Yeah, I really like the game so and I brought money so I'm so I kind of like had him come with me and do all the games and I agreed to do all the rides with him and it was it was really fun even doing the rides. I haven't had a chance to play any games cuz I've been busy riding all these crazy rides. So I'm going to go play this one right here. It looks kind of interesting to me. I've never seen it. All right, so I get a hammer. Oh my and I have to launch the I have to launch him in a basket. Oh, no. I, I didn't win. Yes. Oh, I don't go home empty handed. All right, everyone, we had fun at the 71st annual Fish Fry Carnival and Car Show here at Fairview Park. I got to try some of the delicious fish and chips dinner. We got to go around in some of the great booths and the guys at the Lions Club, they always do a great job. So we're gonna finish this off with one of the best rides here at the carnival, which is the slide. I'm gonna go down, I'm a little nervous, so. All right, here we go. I'm Nadia Gill with Costa Mesa 